Hey there, it is Justin, the Renegade Realtor from South Pasadena. Um, I've been doing a lot of research uh, about tiny houses um, and but looking at a lot of things on YouTube. And there's a couple that I really want to share with you. I, I highly recommend you you see if you are um, if you're curious about the whole movement. You know, I'm interested in the movement and I'm so suspect. I feel like I'm, I'm suspicious of it. But I also have a lot of respect for people who are doing it. And there's some people, of course, there are some people more interested than others. And I wanted to share them with you. Um, there's uh, two videos I, I want to talk about today. There's uh, Alice Capella. I uh, hope I'm pronouncing that right. Alice Capella um, called The Failed Utopia of the Tiny House Movement. It sounds really negative, but I assure you, if you see it, it's not. She's very critical about um, the meaning of the tiny house movement, and uh, she's very philosophical about it, and um, she's very c interested in in the movement as an alternative to um, outrageous home prices, which I have a lot of respect for. Um, which leads me into um, the next video on YouTube, which is uh, the tiny house. Ex it's called Tiny House Expedition, which is uh, a, a a program, a channel about tiny houses, as you can imagine. Uh, and, and this episode, they feature a lady named Robin. And the name of the episode is called um, Her Illegal Tiny House on Her Own Land, Civil Disobedience as Advocacy. Interesting, right? Um, this lady ha is trying to, is challenging um, Sacramento, the city of Sacramento, on, as to why she can't um, live in her tiny home on her own property. Would get it hooked up and and um, and and live there, and it's a beautiful uh, uh, program because you see this lady who's got a cool tiny home, a beautiful little piece of property in Sacramento, and she's finding she she learned the hard way that it's not so simple to just you know you got your little house on wheels and you want to hook it up uh, with the city, it's not so simple and. Uh, and, and she, I, I love her because she's not angry, she's not freaking out, but she's going through the process step by step, trying to, uh, she's being an advocate for people who want to do this. And I think it's wonderful because the, the, the progress that she makes, presuming she does make progress, is this is going to be helpful for everybody who's looking for uh, a, a, an alternative solution that's cheap in Sacramento and probably the whole state of California. Uh, well, this this will be an, a, a really great um, precedent, and so I, I hope she succeeds. And I want to follow up on with her and see you know how she does. Um, so I really want to recommend these two videos: Alice Capella's "Failed Utopia of the Tiny House Movement" and uh, "Tiny House Expedition: Her Illegal Tiny House on Her Own Land, Civil Disobedience as Advocacy." Long name, sorry, uh, but you know I'm I'm really. This is how, what really interests me about the tiny house movement. When it's, when it's presented as a, a way to build communities on the cheap. That to me is the thing. People who want to kind of get out and get away and travel and be gypsies and, and move. I don't mean that in a bad way. But, you know, I mean in a good way. But um, I'm less interested in that. I'm really curious about people building new... I'm a realtor. People building new communities and looking for alternatives that aren't hideously expensive starter homes a way to you know a way to get started where you're not you know a, a, a slave to you know these uh, incredibly expensive housing um options so um I, I hope you watch them i hope you tell me what you think in the comments and um and uh I hope you're interested in tiny houses. I'm getting more and more interested. I'm becoming less skeptical and more enthusiastic about them. So um, I hope to uh, share more with you. All right. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.